Playing PvP in ARK can be the worst experience you'll ever have in a game. Here are 5 more reasons why you will have a bad time playing PvP. You've spent hours researching and browsing countless websites. But you've noticed that there are only a few good servers. Either their communities are very small, or there are very specialized server settings that don't suit your playstyle. There are different providers, but in the end it's always the same server operators who control the game. This means that you simply cannot leave a server when something does not fit into your playstyle. I mean, you can leave, but there are only a few other servers you can try. In the end, you have to decide in favor of a server controlled by one of the larger communities. Even if the selection of good servers is very small, you have to choose the server with settings that suit your playstyle. The problem is, PvP is based on the fact that there are opponents. If it bothers you that there are only a few large communities, which kinda hold a monopoly on PvP servers, then I have to tell you that PvP is not for you. If you want to get better at PvP in seconds, then click on the like button below this video as fast as possible. And if you want to get better at PvP in the long run, subscribe to my channel. I mean, you wanted to play ARK and you found a great cluster. This time you're playing on unofficial, because you've learned that you don't have enough time for an official server. You spawn on the island, do your note run, tame a pteranodon and look for a spot for your base. You fly around the island and find lots of big bases, but there's nothing for you where you can build as a solo player. The spots are either too big, too open or just too difficult to defend. It doesn't look any better on scorched earth. It's hard to build a good base in the desert and the good spots that are hidden are all taken. All you have left are bad spots that are either difficult to protect or that everyone else already knows. Currently only two maps are available in ASA. These two maps are not fit for successful solo duo or small tribe PvP. The lack of red holes, small caves and proper base spots make the game lean heavily towards big tribe play. If you want to play solo or small tribe PvP, then ASA PvP is not for you. This video is intended to show that PvP is not for everyone. PvP can be a lot of fun if you're competitive. If you have a more relaxed playstyle, PvP is not for you, but there are great PvE servers to join and have fun with other players. Now that you've found the cluster, your base is up and you've played the whole weekend, you've learned that you have to invest the effort in your base, otherwise you won't be playing on the server for long. But it's late tonight and you have to go to school or work tomorrow, or you just want to go to bed because you're tired. You make your last tour through the base, fill up the feeding trough, check the gas in the generator and have one last look at what's going on around your base. And then you see two players running around near your base and they're just starting to build an FOB. You now have two options, either you log out and leave your base to its fate or you grab your gear and start defending your stuff. You decide in favor of the fight. Six hours later, it's five o'clock in the morning. You've beaten your opponents and you have exactly two hours of sleep left before you have to get out of bed. Base defense almost never happens on your own schedule. If you're about to go to bed when a tribe begins raiding you, it's goodbye base or goodbye sleep, and sometimes even both. If you need a good portion of sleep and cannot deal with sudden changes in your daily routine due to raids or other events, then playing PvP is not for you. The next day starts surprisingly quietly. You can farm and do your daily routines to continue progressing and make up for the losses of the previous day. You lost ammunition, a few dinos and a lot of equipment yesterday, but you didn't suffer any major losses. Today you go offline a little earlier as you got very little sleep. The next morning when you log in, you realize to your surprise that all your loot is gone and all your dinos have been killed. The strange thing is that your base has no hole in the wall. The turrets are still running and are all well stocked with ammunition. You're angry, you were looking forward to a fight and you've held out so well and got so far and in the end it's supposed to end with someone destroying your base from the inside with bugs? Unfortunately, mashing is still a thing and it has to be said that compared to ASE, it actually seems to have gotten worse. I found a few mash holes myself and unfortunately if other players see an advantage to destroy you, there will always be players who take the advantage and steal your stuff, even if it breaks the rules. I'm really sorry to have to tell you this. 
I would prefer it myself if it wasn't like this. But mashing is still a thing, despite Wildcard saying they fixed it and at some point it will happen to you that you will be mashed. If you cannot stand the fact that all your progress is simply gone because someone has gained an advantage through mashing, then unfortunately PvP is not for you. Fortunately, there's a reporting system and dedicated admins on the cluster. You submitted a ticket and they try to help you as much as possible to get your stuff back. The measures have been banned from the server and you can continue playing without any losses. As you're farming metal, you see a Pteranodon flying past you. You jump off your Anki and prepare for a battle. You draw your sniper and aim at the enemy. You should hit, 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 but your opponent doesn't seem to care. He draws his weapon and simply shoots you away with two shots without even looking at you. You have just encountered your first cheater and he has effortlessly killed you. On official servers in particular, you will often find yourself in situations where you encounter cheaters who use tricks and external tools to gain advantages. On unofficial servers, they are usually banned very quickly, whereas wildcard often takes a little longer. Cheaters often contribute to the toxic environment of ARK. And if you play, you should always report them directly. This is also one of many reasons why many players continuously record their gameplay. Cheater will always find new ways and getting killed or destroyed by cheaters hurts far more in ARK than losing to them in any other game. If you cannot deal with cheaters in PvP, then PvP is not for you. If you want to know 5 reasons why you should play PvP, then click on the linked video.